everyone, so I'm back with a video. Uh, today I decided to do an empties video. I've been accumulating so many things over the last couple of months as I have been quite inactive on YouTube, but I'm still always trying out and um, testing out products. You might want to still follow me along on Instagram. My Instagram and everything is down below and I do post a lot on there too if I'm trying out something new or whatnot and Twitter and whatever. Um, but I'll go through all the products that I've tried out and used up over the last couple of months today in my empties video. I have everything in this bag here. Um, there is quite a bit of stuff so I'll try to keep from rambling and just jump right into all the goodies. I did want to give a shout out to my lips. I'm so excited. Um, I got the uh, Too Faced Melted Liquified Long Wear Lipstick in Melted Violet and I have to thank and love and just appreciate the most amazing person I've ever met, I think. Um, it's uh, Lena from Glamour Arena, I believe, is her channel here on YouTube. I'll link it down below. Go check her out. She makes amazing videos. She has been kind of inactive for a little bit, but I'm sure she's going to come back to it very soon. Um, so do go check her out. Uh, check out her previous videos. They were all amazing. Um, but she picked this up for me, and she's just a sweetheart. Like, she really didn't have to, but she went out of her way, and she did. And, I mean... I need to stop talking about it before I cry. So, um, that being said, thank you very much, and we're gonna jump right in to my empties video. All right, so the very first thing is skincare. This has looked a little bit better. It looks a little gungy because I've had this forever. It's lasted me forever. It's the Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser Foaming Formula by Neutrogena. It's a facial cleanser. It's worked really well for me. I mean, I can't really say it's done miracles, but it's been okay. I don't have terribly bad skin uh, to start with, so it worked really well with my skin. Um, I'm not a fan of the scent. It's sort of just a clinical scent. I don't know how to describe it. It, it doesn't have any scent to it, really. If you're sensitive with scents and that, uh, this might be really good for you. I tend to like my... Um, face washes to have some sort of scent to them, um, be it um, a subtle one or not. Um, this just was sort of blah in uh, the scent department, but it is dermatologist developed for sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, and sensitive to scents, this baby might be for you. I'm not sure. I don't think it's that expensive. It's uh, from the drugstore and it was pretty good. Next, to continue on the line of skincare, um, I tried out these, uh, which I believe I got a couple um, months back, like December, uh, when Lexbox sent out those calendars, uh, and you got a bunch of products in them. And this is the Shu Umura, Shu Umura uh, Phyto Black Lift Youth Degree Remodeling Anti-Wrinkle Concentrate and the Radiance Boosting Lotion. So I gave these a shot and they were pretty good. I can't say I was in love with them again. I don't know. Um, I'm more of a cream person than a serum person, so the serums are always sort of eh for me. But um, it was really nice, it was moisturizing. When I went away to Mexico, this is what I brought with me and it sufficed and it did leave me feeling moisturized. Although in the mornings I didn't feel like I was still, you know, I don't know. I like creams because I feel like in the morning I can still sort of feel it on my face and I still feel moisturized. With serums I feel they just go right into my skin and they're gone and I just, I don't know. I don't know why. But um, that's how I feel at least, or it's just been the serums that I've tried so far um, that have done that for me. But um, these are good and I can't complain. Don't think I'll be purchasing the full sizes or anything, but they were really nice to try out. I got lots of skincare in here. Uh, the next one is the Precious Night Cream and this is from uh, Loctane. And it's a face and neck cream, and I guess this is e evening cream. And I really did like this. This was really nice. Um, it did leave me, like I said before, like creamy in the morning where I felt really, really moisturized and everything. Not that I could feel the, like, literally feel the cream on my face, but I could just 
feel that I was really moisturized and just glowing. I don't know, I love that about some creams because they do that for me. Um, and this was one of them, so I really, really like this. I don't know if I'll be purchasing the real full size of it just because it's a little pricey and I feel like I have other favorites that suffice. So, um, but it was really good and I really did enjoy this sample. Next is something I'm really disappointed about. Um, I, I couldn't believe, me, believe it. I was so excited to try this and um, then really disappointed. Um, it's the Michael Todd True Organics Pumpkin Nutrient Rich Facial Mask which sounds amazing and um, sadly didn't work for me at all. I put it on my face and instantly started to sort of tingle and burn um, and sting and I was sort of like, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to do that. I sat for like maybe a minute and a half and I was like, uh-uh, this is not right. So <laughs> I washed it off immediately and I did have um, around this area here a few marks that stayed with me. It was almost like burn marks. So um, it definitely reacted not well with my skin. And I, my skin is pretty good with product. And um, I'm not really sensitive to much. So I don't know what it was about this. As far as I know, I'm not allergic to pumpkins. And yeah, because I know I carve pumpkins and I stick my hands in there and I peek out all the seeds and all that and nothing happens. So I doubt I'm allergic to them because um, my skin has touched it before. I just don't know what was in here and being organic and everything, I have no idea. No idea at all, but definitely wasn't for me. Next is, again, something I wasn't too happy with. It's the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Eye Makeup Remover. And this, I feel, did not remove makeup at all. I feel like it was water in a bottle. Um, it literally did nothing for removing my makeup. Um, maybe took off some of the eyeshadow or whatever, but if I had anything waterproof, forget it. Um, I just, I really didn't like it. And it says here it removes waterproof mascara, which is a complete lie, because I feel like it did not. Next is a mascara, and this is one I, did not want to part with at all. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is by far the most amazing mascara. I mean, nothing will top the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill, but I'm not gonna spend $50 on a mascara. So this is definitely a great alternative. This is still a little bit higher end, so a little more expensive, but it is amazing. I never believed the hype behind it. And seriously, now I do. It's just amazing. My lashes just go on for days when I use this mascara. And um, it just works really, really well for me. I have a couple of samples, thank God. So I'm really excited to crack into those. Um, but uh, this full size is done. It's all dried out and everything. And oh, I'm gonna miss him so much. So, so much. The next one's another mascara. And uh, this is the Lengthening Skinny Mini Brush Mascara by Ico. And I really do like this brand. Um, they have some great things and I really love this mascara. Funny enough, I looked at the brush and thought, what the heck is this brush gonna do for me? It's not gonna do anything. Um, but it lengthens and just curls and just, oh, separates those lashes so amazingly and it just does wonders for your lashes at least for mine works really really well i would consider purchasing the full size um, i have a ton of mascara to go through being a beauty vlogger and everything that um, i probably don't need one yet <laughs> so um, but i will keep it in mind because it was amazing i really did like it Next is a eyeliner, and this is the Jessie Girl Liquid Eyeliner. Now, I loved this eyeliner. The only problem being that um, it dried out really, really fast, or there wasn't much product in it. Um, it went really fast, I found. Um, but it has an awesome tip. It's really easy for application. It's super, super dark super super black and um, it was really precise and easy to do my liquid eyeliner it isn't a felt tip it's more of a brush that is really really 
dense and confined into like a nice little tip and it just made applying my eyeliner such a breeze so easy it's really easy to get the flick on a cat eye it was just so easy so so easy and i'm sure this is not much we can't get this in canada unfortunately so i don't know but um if you can get it i would definitely try it out i doubt it's uh, expensive at all so definitely check that out next is another uh face slash skincare it's the Rodial B Venom Moisturizer. It says here, Extreme Performance Cream with Stem Cell Technology. This was a small little sample guy and I did like it. It was super moisturizing. Um, I was a little, you know, iffy about putting B Venom on my face, but I did go ahead. I don't even think it's anywhere near the, um, see here like if you look on the ingredients the bee venom is like near the bottom of the list so I doubt there's even that much in here um, but it was really nice and um, I doubt again I'll be purchasing the full size as I think it's a little pricey and I don't really think it's worth the price so yeah all right next is this wet gloss lash and brow and this is by e.l.f. Um, this is the brow gel and this would be the mascara. This was really wet. Um, I did use it up completely, like completely. <laughs> um, there wasn't much product and I found that you wasted a lot of product. Like it brought, it took out too much product, I don't know. And um, I just wasn't a huge fan. I tried to use the lash side as a brow gel as well, but I found it too um, watery and yucky. So I really didn't like this. Um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't repurchase it. No. Next is something that I loved, and I was so sad, and it was pro it's probably my like one of my first makeup like I loved, and I used it up. Um, goodies uh, just because I buy a lot of powders and stuff and it takes forever to get through those but anyways um, this was amazing it's the it cosmetics brow powder and I think you can still get this um, online the shopping channel I believe sells it um, but it is so it was like the perfect color and I do really want um, to pick up another one just because sometimes my Anastasia Anastasia, Anastasia, the brow uh, pomade. It's really nice. I love how my brows turn out with it and it doesn't smudge, it doesn't go anywhere. But sometimes you need something that's a little quick and you know, an easy fix. And I know the brow is is nice, supposed to be nice too. Um, yeah, this thing was amazing. I got it, I think, when I was um, the Glossy Box Ambassador when Glossy Box was still in Canada and they gave me a nice big box of goodies and this was in it and oh my god this is probably the one thing that like I, if they just gave me this I would have been happy because it was amazing on my brows. I just loved it. If you look back at pretty much all my older videos I was wearing this. Last but not least is um, this duo eyelash adhesive. It's not really finished but um, when I got it it had this crack and I did not notice that when I purchased it so it has sort of like completely dried out on me now and uh, it's all nastiness so yeah but it's actually really good stuff. This is the black or dark tone formula and I really liked it when I was working. Um, I do have the normal clear version and I use that now but um, I did like this. It was good stuff. Alright guys that concludes my empties video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little about these empties and I hope it helped you out somehow. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down below. Um, please follow me, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff, and I'll see you real soon in my next video. Love you to the moon and back, and we'll see you later. Bye.